Have you met uh, Michael Acton Smith? He's, I've heard his name. He's the co-founder of Calm. But before that, he had, um, what was the name of his brand? Moshi Monsters, I think it is. is, that the, is it, it's either Minnow or Moshi Monsters. I think it's Moshi Monsters. So he was in the UK and he created essentially like a Pokemon st- t- uh, type of phenomenon. So like, I think Moshi, it, it was in the UK. It was like this children's kind of like, um, there was like these characters and then you would like, uh, I don't know, you would like, it was like a game or something, something like that. It was like this online little world you would go into and do this. And that turned into many things. It, it was a brand that turned into many things. They put it, they slapped those characters on shampoo and started selling it over there. And he dreamed of having a theme park. And, you know, he's a really like big dreamer, big thinker type of guy, super creative. Uh, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have created that in the first place. This like phenomenon, like a, like a Pokemon or a Digimon or, you know, these like these brands that just catch fire. I think at one point, like one in three kids in the UK were playing it. Um, so it was like, you know, just an insane, like cultural phenomenon. And it was valued over a billion dollars. And he was the fucking man. And he was, you know, he looks like Russell Brand. If you see him, like, he's just like this, like, kind of like, you know, good looking, like, wait, does this guy have sex in public? He seems like a guy who has sex in public. And it's like, you know, he's got this free love energy. And if you meet him, you're like, yeah, exactly. He's got like, you know, he's got scarves. He's, you know, maximum two buttons up on a collared shirt. So like, you know, the guy's, the guy's walking around with two buttons, right? So he's just living his best life. And so he had the persona and then he had the, the the movement to back it up. And it just seemed like this is a type, this is the type of guy who cre- he's like a Walt Disney type of guy who creates this type of phenomenon. And, you know, Rich, you know, Rich Branson loves it. everybody loves it. And then sure enough, you know, they kind of got ahead of their skis and all of a sudden, you know, like whatever third grade came around for those second graders. And they were like, you know what? I don't care about Moshi Monsters anymore. I have moved on to the next thing. And it's like overnight, the business starts losing relevancy the characters start losing relevancy and like nobody's buying, nobody's buying the plush toys and the TV show doesn't want to get made anymore or whatever. They started to unwind essentially. It was very hard for them to like reverse that cycle because uh, you know, like as fast as you can climb as a like fad phenomenon uh, that's as fast as it can unwind. And so I, I don't know exactly what his net worth was, but I'm, you know, he was the main guy and it was, the company was worth over a billion dollars. I'm sure he was worth hundreds of millions of dollars on paper but never got to realize it. And then basically had to start back over from scratch as like, uh, you know, just a guy and is, you know, it, it, just a guy uh, who, who's like went through this, went through this like roller coaster, but would, like didn't have the money to show for it, which makes it even more amazing that they, you know, he went and, and helped seed calm, like co-found calm and then joined calm and helped grow calm into like a multi-billion dollar brand. So he's kind of done it again. And uh, I just 